Hey uh, folks, uh, this lesson is volume of cones. This is our third lesson in module 21 for integrated math 2. And so our question here is uh, how do we find the volume of a cone and the composite figures that involve cones. Don't forget all your groovy math lessons can be found at that uh, website right there. Okay, this is integrated math 2. All right, so the volume of a cone is just like the volume of a, of a pyramid which is base times height and then a third of that so the volume of a cone is one third base times height and since the cone is a circle your circular base then it's one third pi r squared times the height okay so how many fluid ounces of liquid will this cone hold okay and so so we have a conversion that one cubic inch equals 0.554 fluid ounces round to the nearest tenth okay so we want to know in our answer in fluid ounces we don't want our answer in terms of inches so we'll find the volume of this in terms of inches and then we'll use our conversion putting this on the bottom so the inches uh, cancel and we're left with fluid ounces okay so the volume is one-third the area of the base times the height we need to find that height first so here do you see um, um, uh, this whole diameter is 2.4 so this radius is 1.2 and then we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find out the height right there so 1.2 squared plus h squared equals 3.9 squared and then uh, subtract that off and we get uh, h squared equals that so square root that and we get about 3.718 okay so now we need to find the volume of the cone so one-third uh, base times height or one-third pi r squared times height let's slide that up right there okay and then um, uh, so if we plug in the numbers we get about uh, 5.596 inches cubed okay so that's the volume of the cone all right, so how many fluid ounces does it hold? So what we have to do is put this on top and put this on bottom. So 0.554 fluid ounces for one inches cubed. That way it cancels out that inches cubed when we do that right there. See how that's going to cancel right there? So now we just multiply this times this. And if we do that correctly, I think we get about 3.1 fluid ounces that uh, each cone holds. All right, so find the volume of this composite figure and round to the nearest cubic millimeter. So we have a, um, looks like a, a cylinder downstairs and we have um, a cone upstairs. So cylinder plus cone. Okay, so the whole diameter is 16, so the radius is 8. And since this is 19 and the whole height is 32, what's that going to give me? 13 right there. So that height of the cone is 13. So cylinder plus cone. Okay. All right. So um, I think we have everything there. So if we plug it all in and add them together, we get about, um, uh, I get about, about that, you guys. Okay. Don't forget it's in um, uh, cubic millimeters right there. So I get about... 4,691.45 millimeters cubed, okay? So the volume of the composite figure, okay? Uh, so round to the nearest cubic millimeter, that's what the direction said. So I rounded that to 4,691 uh, millimeters cubed, okay? All right, so here a cone-shaped hole is made so that the apex, the apex is the same as the vertex of the cone, of the cone is at the base of the cylinder. So here's the quote apex. I like vertex better, but whatever. So find the volume of the figure when we take this cone out. So this one's going to be cylinder minus the cone right there. So pi r squared h minus one third pi r squared h, or two thirds that if you want to do that right there, you guys. So so crank all that out, and we get um, we get about nine point two. 88 uh, pi squared and let's go ahead and answer the question so about uh, uh, to the nearest tenth so about 29.2 centimeters cubed okay all right if you are sitting in my class i'm going to have you guys do that take care